Greece backed its leader in local elections this weekend, giving Prime Minister Papandreou the support he needs to push on with austerity. But will it influence investors and help bring down record risk in Greek government debt? Let's ask Barclay Capital's head of European fixed income strategy, Laurent Frasselet. Hi, Laurent. Morning. He won probably as many as many thought he would, local municipalities. Mm -hmm. What does it mean on a broader scale, though? Does this give you more confidence in his ability to push through austerity? I think first is the first round, right? So we've got still the second round, but, yeah. but indeed the results was probably as encouraging as, uh, as he could have expected given the circumstances. I think definitely it, um, uh, it's, it's, a very, it's a positive news for, uh, for investors and for the Greek bond market in the sense that a snap election would really have been uh, uh, not a welcome uh, development. It would be a distraction in the, in the current environment. So, you know, does it mean that it's a... Uh, that he's going to implement more measures, etc. That remains open, but certainly I think he, it, it gives him a little bit of, uh, of, of confidence. I mean, at the national level, in any case, they've got a majority for, uh, uh, in the parliament. Right? Yeah. Ireland is, is where the spotlight seems to be falling today, Laura, with uh, Olly Rand, the Economic and Monetary Affairs Commissioner, heading to Dublin for a couple of days. CDS prices record high, bond spread record high as well. Are you getting a bit tetchy, <laughs> nervy about Ireland? Are we looking at where Greece was a few months ago before the mm. bailout? What do you think? No, I think what's happening is there's a lot of focus on, on these uh, domestic issues, whether it's the local elections, whether it's the, the budget uh, in, in Ireland. And, and in the current market environment, um, uh, people are very nervous. The markets are illiquid, and there is nobody who is really willing to take the other side of, um, of, of the trade. So uh, that's why you've got price action, uh, which, is, um, uh, which is extremely quick, and, and you know, you've had a big widening of spread. Yeah, I would be a little bit. I, I would be a little bit, uh, um, you know, cautious in reading too much about that. Means that the island follows Greece right. and needs to go to the FSF, etc. Does that mean you don't think Ireland will need to, to to go to the stability fund? I don't think that they will. No, but certainly, you, you know, they need to implement uh, the the budget that that has been announced. Yeah. And they need to find uh, uh, some renewed confidence in investors. I think one of the big problems for Ireland is that. The, uh, the investor base is, is relatively limited and very international. So you need to see a little bit of, uh, of buying from the domestic as well to, um, uh, to support them. And I guess until Ireland announces what specific measures will be announced on December the 7th, there's going to be a bit of nervousness still there is in that, the markets. There yeah. is that. There is a number of by-elections as well which yeah. have to go through. And, and I think that's, that's going to keep um, uh, uh, the market under, under pressure. And certainly as well, the, at the same time, uh, uh, for all these countries, you've got the discussions about the orderly restructuring mechanism, yes. uh, which certainly didn't help uh, the market sentiment. I mean, things can change very quickly. At this point, uh, you really getting into the end of the year. I mean, Ireland doesn't need to come to the market course, for, for some time. Yeah. So I think that's, that's a saving grace for them uh, uh, for the moment. Laurent, thanks. Laurent Francelet there from Barclays Capital.